Hello, my name is Catherine Shanti Ariel, and I have recently published a book called Holistic Emergency Care and Trauma Recovery for Animals. It is intended to be the first part of three books on holistic emergency care for animals, for humans, and a more advanced book on energy healing in emergencies. If you wish to find out more information about me and my work, my website is www.catherineshantyariel, and that's K-A-T-H-R-Y-N shantyariel.com. The reason that I wrote this book came years ago when I was very young, I began studying emergency care. At the same time, I was healing myself from being terribly ill as a child, and I began learning holistic modalities. My training advanced, and I began taking natural sciences and biological sciences in college, and advanced my training to include mountaineering first aid, EMT, and other levels of first responder training. During the same period of time, I started getting different kinds of animals in my life. I had always had a lot of animals, fish, birds, cats, but then I was moving into horses and then I began having a lot of dogs. And during this time, as I was learning these new modalities and how to heal my immune system, all my animals were stepping up and injuring themselves one way or the other and letting me practice how to heal them through these different methods that I was learning. Then when I was in my 30s, I believe, I started training with the American Red Cross and then with the private company where I was an instructor in first responder classes. At this time I was guided to actually start putting a book together based on the standard first aid techniques but layering over it the holistic modalities such as homeopathy, herbology, flower essences, and different kinds of energy work that you could do in an emergency scene. Over the years, I became more and more skilled with these different modalities, and the book grew and grew and grew, and I finally, this past year, decided it was time to publish it and bring it to the public for your use. It's a reference manual, and as you can see, I have it divided up into several different categories. The sections are all color-coded so that the first section talks about holistic modalities. The second section is descriptions of all the different modalities and the different items within those like specific herbs that are used in emergencies. The third section is actually the standard first aid applications. What different injuries might occur what you do to correct them using the different modalities including the general first aid techniques that are normally taught. The last section of this book I expanded into trauma recovery because the emergency is just the first step in healing and rebalancing a body. Many of us with animals have rescue animals and almost all of them have some kind of trauma. So the trauma section, it, it, it includes emotional trauma, but it also includes physical traumas such as physical injuries, being hit by a car, or even surgical trauma where you've actually intended on correcting something in the body surgically, but then it has to be recovered from. So the trauma section carry covers all those areas. When I wrote this book and published it, it was my intention to start doing trainings all over the country to for rescue groups, and different and even households who wish to learn these techniques and know what to do in an emergency. It can be a little emergency, something that you really just don't want to have to run to the vet for. It can be a small acute illness. It can be something that you're working in tandem with a veterinarian if it's a bigger emergency, but you would like to handle a lot of the recovery through holistic modalities. So there are many different applications for this book and what's contained within it. And it has just been my desire to bring a reference guide that contains all these different things at your fingertips that you can have easily available in an emergency and also to use in a reference 
in a slower moving trauma recovery. So I hope that if you have animals or you work with animals in any way, either as a volunteer or a rescue center or as a first responder in a fire department or anything, I hope that you will find this book and purchase it and educate yourself as to how you can do much more good for the animals and in time there will be a human version to go with this. And I thank you and appreciate your support.